guys Oti Remy, Oti Sumi. You can't know what that means except you're Yoruba, but it means I'm tired. Guys, I finally did it. I bought an iPad! Remember when that video where I was like, digital art is easier than traditional art. <laughs> Don't come for me. I guess today we find out. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm feeling nervous. I'm feeling terrified, but we gotta try it. So yeah, let's go. I'm gonna start by unboxing my iPad. I got the iPad Pro 12.9 inch fifth generation with Wi Fi. It is 256 gig and I also got it customized. So here is what it looks like. It's actually massive. My sister calls it a slab of concrete, but she's just hating because she's only got an iPad Air. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the customization. I'm sure you can't see it properly, but here is what it's looking like. And it also comes with a plug. When I was in the Apple store, I asked the guy because the new iPhones don't come with the plug. But I was like, so why do the iPads do? And he didn't really have an answer for me. So anyone that works at Apple, do you want to tell me in the comments? Anyway, I'm glad it comes with a plug. So it's a USB-C to USB-C. And I also got the Apple Pencil. I also got this customized. Okay, gonna quickly put the screen protector on. I got this paper-like, but not paper-like the brand because people had loads of mixed reviews about it, especially for artists. I understand the concept of something feeling like paper, but I don't know that I want my iPad to feel like paper. I just think I need something that's a little less smooth than the actual screen of glass, but I don't know how rough I actually want it. But yeah, just gonna quickly put it on and you know, trying to get the air bubbles out and all of that. And now I can take the top off. Oh my gosh, did I just take the whole thing off? Oh my gosh, I thought I was taking, I thought I was taking this off. After all my stress, I wanna cry. <laughs> oh my God. Oh God, the way I can't be bothered, you don't understand. Anyway, at this point, I'm actually tired. <laughs> all the air bubbles i just need to put this back on so i can turn this thing on and maybe we'll come back another day to put the other screen protector on because i can't die why am i seeing extra bubbles from this top film this is so bubbly oh my gosh no i can't scratch on this i just feel like this is the worst screen application you know what i don't care i'm gonna turn it on i'm not gonna die here guys Oti Remy, Oti Sumi. You can't know what that means except you're Yoruba, but it means I'm tired. I've got the new iPad case. It's just a simple black one. And it's just looking cute. It's one of those where you can put it in the different, you know, orientations. And it's really cute. It's really something. But please, 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 look at these air bubbles. I'm sick. I'm actually sick and tired, if I'm really gonna be frank. Firstly, we need to get rid of these air bubbles and then I really want to try Procreate. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's been a few days since I last fought with this screen and now I finally have the energy to attempt putting the second screen protector on. And to be honest, I'm glad that the set came with two because imagine if I literally ruined it all and that was it. So just going to clean it and try to get rid of the air bubbles and all of the rest. And I actually ended up taking off the top bit off camera because I wasn't about to make the same mistake, but here is what she looks like with the screen protector on. You can see that it diffuses the light a lot. So it kind of gives you an idea of the texture maybe, but now I'm ready to play around with Procreate. So the first thing I did was try to look for tutorials online and I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if YouTube is the place for Procreate tutorials. I'll start watching some and just get tired, get demoralized. But the easiest thing for me to do might just be to dive straight into the app. Oh, are these actual artwork? Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Ah, how do I undo? How do I undo? Oh my God, how do I have to undo? Oh my gosh, wow. Imagine if like in three months I'll actually be able to create. Wow. Oh my God. The next day. It is not the next day. It's actually been a few days since I last watched those tutorials. But I think the easiest thing for me to do would just be to dive straight in, try the brushes, see how they apply. And even this brush is so weird because using this green is actually somewhat blending the other colors, but it's like, it's different to how real brushes or real paint act. So it's, it's such a weird phenomena. Now I'm gonna try the calligraphy brush and it 
watched it feels weird so it's so weird because real pens don't act like this and obviously i know i'm not using a real pen but it's like uh, i don't i really don't know how to explain how weird it feels but then i really like how the calligraphy came out so i think i'll definitely practice doing more of that this is the reference picture i'll be using it is linked down in my pinterest board if you also want to grab it but i wasn't going to try doing a portrait or anything difficult if you want to see me try more digital art stuff let me know down in the comments but for today i thought let me try something quick and easy so i've just got this simple nail design and i think also because of the shine it'll be quite easy to make it look quite realistic without too much effort so I found a very simple tutorial which I'm following and it's literally the exact same step. So I'll link it down below if you also want to check that out. But she started by tracing the reference image. And this is something that's so good about digital art. You can literally reduce the opacity. You can do this and that and you can get all the details you want to. I think in the future, I'll definitely want to freehand some of these myself. But for my first attempt, I've just traced it and now I'm reducing the size of the reference so that I can look at it. And then I'm changing the background color. She said something about just preferring to work on a different background. And if you're familiar with my channel, you know I like to do my pieces on colored paper as opposed to white paper. So I've just picked this random brown color and the technique she had was just to color select the colors with your finger and then just fill in the colors. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like this technique. She was saying in the video that it's not really cheating, it's fine. Those features are there for a reason and I definitely agree. But I found later on that it was just selecting like different shades of brown. And sometimes if you guys are familiar with my channel, I'm always like, where are the purples? Where are the oranges? Where are the blues? So a little later on, I actually started to select my own colors because it just gave me flat and I wasn't really happy with it. But the basic step here is just to select the colors with your finger and then apply them in the right positions. I'm actually starting by just doing the fingers. And as you can see, I can't really color within the lines, but because this is on a different layer, I should be able to erase it without any issues next to blend and i'm using the smudge tool and it is really easy and simple to use but something i clocked and i think i need to watch those videos that are like procreate hacks you never knew or tips and tricks or try and procreate i don't know because sometimes i would find that it would just switch to the eraser brush or it would just switch to the other brush and i don't know what i was doing maybe i was tapping the apple pencil too much but i definitely need those tips and tricks and now that the hand is looking good i'm gonna move on to the nails and it's this beautiful ombre french kind of design and then the tips of the different nudes and so it was so easy to just do the ombre side and quickly blend it honestly like procreate blending all of this is actually simple like i get the whole debate of oh digital art is not easy it's still difficult i never said it wasn't difficult but in real life you will never you will never be able to push a button and tap 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 and quickly blend so honestly i think it was still difficult it definitely still had a learning curve but this is way simpler than if i was using real life paints or coloring pencils or anything and now adding the sharp white so we've got the white and the nail art and then the bits of shine and i think this is just what pulls it together to make it look beautiful and realistic if you're familiar with my channel you know that even with my traditional supplies i love applying the white i just think it just brings it all together the final part are the rings and I'm not going to lie to you, at this point, I was ready to give up. I was just like, should I just quickly shade over and pretend she never had rings? But drawing gold isn't as difficult as it seems, especially because I'm just doing the whole technique of tapping the colors. And I've really struggled with tapping some of these colors. I think it's probably because of my nails. So I wish you could color select using the pencil and you didn't have to use your fingers. Let me know in the comments if that is something you can do and I just don't know. But I'm basically putting the yellow base on most of this and then I'm going in with some of the shadows. Some of them have like a greener tinge, some are quite brown. And then the sharpest highlights and that is what just ties it together and it just comes out looking nice, beautiful and shiny. And I've just finished off by slightly lightening the sketch lines and we're done. I'm really proud of how this came out. I think I probably took all the cheats and it's probably the simplest way you could do digital art. But for a first attempt, I'm definitely happy with it. There's so many things I could improve, especially with my color selection. But this just excites me to try more digital art. If you'd like to see me struggle with other new supplies, you'll love this mystery art box video.